categories and tags are two main taxonomies in WordPress posts that associate with each other. Before we use this, it is important to know how to use them. Categories first. And every WordPress post must belong to one category or as many categories as you like. If you don't file a category of the post, it will be automatically filed to uncategorize, which makes no sense. As you see with my new blog post, it filed automatically to uncategorize because I didn't file this for a category, but we will do that later in this video. I will show you a live website has a bunch of categories. In this website, the foodieskitchen.com, the categories here is this, appetizers and snacks, beverages, bread, and so on. These are categories. And uh, another website, the categories here is PHP, HTML, jQuery, and so on. And as you see, guys, in the bottom left of the screen, phpgang.com slash category slash category name. And also, my website, I have three category only at this time. The categories here is AdSense, Blog Tips, Blogger. These are categories. It's back to the foodies kitchen. The tags tells information about the posts. And all these tags are must be relevant. Let's browse a post here. The title of the post is Oreo Truffle Easter Eggs. And let's click this. Let's find the tags. The post is about the Easter Eggs Oreo receipts. Let's find the tags. And this is the tags, dessert, Easter, Easter eggs, and so on. All these tags must be relevant to the posts. Tags are the smaller factor may connect to the posts together. If you see a tutorial guys or video and they say you should add a lot of tags to boost up your SEO, that's not true. Adding tags for the sake of SEO is pointless for a blog site. Tags are there to help your readers to figure out the connection of your posts. Let's click this Oreo. They have a connection with these tags about Oreo. And as you see, all these blog posts are connected to the Oreo. So this is the categories and tags is all about. And all categories can make hierarchically. For example, this receipts is a parent category. And these categories under the receipts is the child category. This called categories are hierarchically. As you see in the bottom left of the screen, the food is kitchen.com slash n English slash category slash receipts slash appetizers and snacks. The receipts in the URL is the parent category and the child category under the receipts is appetizers and snacks. Let's view this. If I hover this, I hover phpgang.com slash category slash jQuery. This category is a single category only. This category is a single category only assigned to the post, which means not hierarchically. You can do this, guys, in your blog if you want hierarchically categories. I will show you how to do that. 
and let's assign a categories of my new blog post because it did not assign yet scroll down in the category section in the right side of the screen there have a categories widget add new the category of this is jquery and this is not hierarchically uncheck this and let's add a tags guys the tags must be relevant to your blog posts separate by comma separate by comma and click add and these are my tags which is relevant to my posts let's update this or save and let's reload the home page and as you see guys i have one category of this post as you see guys in the bottom left of the screen localhost because we're in our local computer slash icraft wp slash category slash category name which is jquery let's click this post scroll down and let's find the tags yes this is the tags of this post which is relevant to the blog post okay guys let's do an example for categories hierarchically back to editor and let's create a receipt this is the parent category for our hierarchically category type a new and uncheck this for now and let's add a child category bread to assign this category guys in a child category which is the parent is receipt click this and choose the parent category this is the child category bread and this is the parent category of the bread a new you can assign a parent category in any categories if you want but this is for example only click update and by the way guys you can add a categories here in this category menu and you can add a tags this also in this menu this is the shortcut guys you can add also as you see guys all i add category are listed here jquery receipt and the child category name if you want to assign this uh, child category in the parent categories receipt click edit choose a parent category and save in the tag section new tab all your tags added will be listed here you can add a tags here too if you want as you see this is my tags and the uh, posts are count to one because these tags belong to one post for now and let's reload this post Oop. we'll go to the widget sidebar and as you see guys in the widget there have two categories as you see in the bottom left of the screen guys category slash receipt that's the parent category in the bread is the child category if i hover this this is the parent category this category type guys is like in the foodies kitchen which is hierarchically type categories by the way guys adding the categories in the navigation menu like this we will do this later in this course that's all for this video guys see you next video bye